held at the Vates View Hotel in Ibo in Oka Capital Territory, the maiden edition of the Anambra Man of the Year Award 2020 with the team, Arise Anambra, organized by Eminent Magazine and Kuluena Foundation, Tuan Nigeria in collaboration with Stand Up for Women's Society. 100 Achievers and Alex Reports began with a red carpet where the dignitaries took turns to answer salient questions and bear their minds on the epoch-making occasion. In an opening remark, Chairman on the occasion, Professor Joseph Atubuagu, who commended the team spirit of the organizers, notes that Anambra State is always setting the pace in good things, hence organizing such an event to honor distinguished personalities of the state extraction is a welcome development. One of the coordinators of the event, Shikeze Chinedu, in an address of welcome, while rolling out litany of achievers and great sons and daughters of Anambra State, added that the award is meant to celebrate and encourage hard work, philanthropism, dedication, plus more, and as well, urge the recipients not to rest on their words. We thank God that made it possible for us to come in here and see ourselves to at least talk together, recognize a very important person. I want, in a very true way, to say congratulations to all the awardees. And I want to wish us well. The Anambra Man of the Year Award is conceptualized in order to celebrate these outstanding feats by individuals, brands, and corporate organizations. But most importantly, as a medium to inspire the society at large. In a keynote address, the first female professor of mass communication in West Africa, Professor Stella Okuna, emphasized the need for collaborative efforts if Anambra State must arise to the next level. This call should not be arising from nowhere. If we in the Anambra have been down, we feel very correct and we need to arise from scratch. We don't have to do that. So this thing I would like to modify. Because in many, many ways, very many ways, Anambra has already up there and has been there for a while. High point of the event was the presentation of different categories of award to 29 deserving individuals who have carved niche for themselves in different fields of human endeavor. Among them are Dr. Godwin Madoka, Anambra Man of the Year, Rector of Federal Polytechnic Oku, Dr. Francisca Mwafulugu, Anambra Woman of the Year, Samali Sin Okatu, Businessman Kum, Industrialist of the Year, Honorable Justice Inkem, Amelia Izuako, Lifetime Achievement Award, Princess Lady Nkiru Okolo, Anambra Banker of the Year. Others include His Royal Highness Eze Ambassador Jerome Ezeneche, Diaspora Person of the Year, CSP Rabiu Garba, Anambra Hero of the Year, Chief Ugochuku Okeke, Political Role Model of the Year, Lady Etel Ubiako, Media Person of the Year, TV, Amarashi Oka for Most Inspiring Woman of the Year, among other awardees. I I have to appreciate the organizers for putting this award as a motivating factor. The time has come. And I'm ready to go again. We are taking this step to the new level. No more should we really have to settle for anything less than extraordinary. I want to thank the organizers of this group. I'm so excited and I'm honored to to receive this award today. Just like the, the speaker said, when you are doing something good, you don't know people are watching you, but someday you'll be recognized and be awarded. Musical interlude by Master Voice Chora Group and drama by Ma Afric Theatre added glamour to the event. Inoka, Tinyere Fesi Okoye, NTA News.